Ollie, if we start with you, uh, two goals today and a, a vitally important three points. Yeah, yeah, very pleased with the, the result and then it's always nice to get a couple of goals as well. Uh, I think we got in at our time, a little bit disappointed with how it was going, but um, we just got together, had a chat and uh, managed to get the result we wanted in the end. From where we were sat, it was difficult to tell how the first one went in because you had a, an effort that was... It looked like it was blocked and then it came yeah. back to you and then did you just see a gap or just for yeah i think uh, the ball come across to me and then I, I i hit it and it come back and then i just thought as soon as it was rolling i was going to hit it uh head down and straight through so uh missed yeah. it the first one i think yeah <laughs> yeah straight through the keep the bike so yeah i was happy and then the second one i'm, I'm sure you you meant that yeah yeah i think so uh just put it in an area and then uh, yeah it just sort of went in and um, very happy and Lewis, if we can come to you, obviously you made your 100th appearance for the club on Tuesday night and then you're back in the starting lineup this this afternoon. Um, how has it been over the last sort of, when did you join us? December 2018 initially, wasn't it? Did yeah, you, alone. Yeah, alone, did you yeah. ever think when well, uh, you joined and played that game against Blythe Spartans in December that you'd, be, that you'd get to uh, 100 games? I don't know, it's obviously it's a good milestone at any level. Uh, to get 100 games, I never thought, to be honest, it'd happen here. But obviously Covid's um, affected things, you know, I should be on a lot more if we uh, play the games. But no, I'm happy with 100, appearance, 100 appearances, 101 today. I said I didn't want to do the interview Tuesday because we lost, but uh, you know, we'll do it today because we've got a great result. Now, how difficult was that? How difficult a challenge was that game to <coughs> for, for both of you? I think, you know, we didn't have a great start. Obviously, we, you go 1-0 down against any team, but... Um, we've done well to come back. Obviously, we're at home. We've only lost two games all season. We've always got that belief that we're going to come back and you know win games. And obviously, bringing Shent in today, who's probably not played as much as he'd like to, but he comes in and scores two goals, and you know, it's brilliant and fair play to him. Yeah, it does show the strength of the squad, doesn't it? That you know you can, yeah. you, you've been out the side, in and out the side a little bit, but you can come in and have such an impact on a game. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. And I know my job now. I've been here, you know, over twelve months, and. Uh, yeah, I think it's just good competition. So when someone comes out and someone comes in, it's always as strong. Um, and just I think just that we've got a good belief and, and we trust each other in the team. And yeah, and I think that's what's making the results positive at the minute. So obviously we've got 13 games left now. How do you both feel? How how do your bodies feel having put on you know 30 plus games already? How do you both <coughs> feel going into sort of the final month and a half? I think it's. Um it's a massive time for all the players to make sure we're doing our recoveries right. You know, making sure we're eating properly. Obviously, 13 games left. You know, I played every minute until last Saturday against Chester. I mean, the lads are definitely feeling it. But obviously, we've got a week break now. We got um, Blythe on Saturday, and then Kitty Tuesday, and then we have a lot of Saturdays and Tuesdays. So we need to all get together, make sure we're looking after ourselves, and you know, get grind out these results and make sure we get in the playoffs.